Hello Epic YouTubers, today I'm going to be talking about rapid filter system. Um, what RFS does is that it helps you save time by allowing you not like screw on and off whenever you need certain kind of filter in front of your lens. Instead, it you can just lift it up so it won't be covering your lens whenever you don't need the filter. So for example, when I show it on an actual camera, so I have my Sony here. I have an ND, Tiffin ND filter on. So whenever I'm shooting video or need an ND or what kind of whatever filter, I'll just shoot like this. And then whenever I don't need it, I can just lift it up like this and just shoot photos or whatever I need. So it's a very, you know, quick running gun setup for uh, hybrid shooters. This way you don't constantly have to screw on your ND filter and take it off whenever you don't need to. So it's all good and all, but I just want to talk about a few things that it might prevent you from getting this system. So who is it for? It's for people who likes to do run and gun, hybrid shooters who shoot photos and videos at the same time, who uses filter a lot. Um, it will be perfect for people do that but there's a catch and I just want to let you guys know before you purchase it so you don't feel like you got you've been cheated or whatever so what this system does it, it puts on a you know filter in the front but the main issue of this thing is that you might get vignetting once you install this on your lens and this vignetting will depending on what focal length you're using, how thick of an ND filter you're using, and then another thing is if you're using a UV filter on every single lens that you have, you might get vignetting. The reason is because every ND filter's thickness is different or any kind of a filter or whatever. So whenever you have that filter on this RFS system, this system itself has some thickness to it so basically when you have this on and then you have a filter on top you have this much more distance between your lens and the filter so whenever you're looking you know when you're trying to shoot the lens actually catches the the sides of the filter so you kind of get a little bit of vignetting and it's very rare to have that vignetting if your focal length is um, high like let's say 50 50 and up or 35 and up uh, but if you're going wider you are more likely to see that vignetting on the side and obviously because of the thickness reason if you have an ND filter on every lens like me who's like concerned with dust on your lens that UV filter will also, you know, bring more thickness to the setup, which will cause more vignetting. It, it's a very good way to quickly have your filter on and off, but sometimes it does not work. So for instance, um, I have a 24 to 105 f4 Sony lens, and that's a 77 uh, filter thread on the lens but I have uh, this RFS system which takes the 82 millimeter um, filter because I heard that in order to reduce vignetting I should get a filter size that is one size or two size larger which I did but I still get vignetting until maybe 28 millimeters so 24, I do get vignetting on the side when I have this system installed. So I have to zoom in a little bit until like 28 to 29, then I won't be able to see, I don't see the vignetting on the side. So make sure that you guys research a little bit more with uh, vignetting. It's very nice, but there's a little bit of a catch. Just letting you guys know. So that's it for today. And I hope, I hope you guys found this um, information helpful. And if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer uh, every question I can. And uh, if you guys like this 
content please give me a like and thumbs up and please subscribe if you guys want to see more and until then i'll see you guys later peace